How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Benji's Logs and Whatnot. We are back at it again for another episode. It is a glorious Sunday afternoon considering that uh, there's a bit of bloody wet weather around but that is alright. Uh, we have just been sitting on our backsides for the last day and a half simply because we just wanted to sit back and relax for the time that we've got off for the next two days. Well, it's already Sunday so... That just goes to prove that we've been doing absolutely diddly squat. But that's alright though guys, we do have something coming. Uh, there's a new burger shop in town that I've been wanting to try out for the last few weeks, months. Uh, I do have something coming from them, so we're going to do, a, as you would say, a review for some food. So that will be coming a little bit later on, so we'll have to sit back and relax until that comes. And uh, until it comes in and everything else in between so without further ado let's sit back and relax and everything else in between I must admit it is very strange having two days off in a row and uh, to be honest with you I, I did get a little bit pestered yesterday by one of the guys from the lawn one uh, didn't answer the phone didn't know what he wanted but uh, I can tell you right now when it comes to my days off do not friggin pester me I am off for a damn reason and I'm not going to be answering anybody while I'm off so we'll see how things go tomorrow you'll probably have a go at me for uh, not answering your phone but pff, you know what tough titties if I'm off work for the day or two days or whatever days don't contact me it gives me the bloody shit guys I tell you what it is annoying as hell when people constantly pass you when you got your time off as the saying goes if you got a question to ask who's on for the day why don't you ring up the store and see who's on for the day instead of pestering someone else and it, it gives me the poopies sideways we've got big time I've, I've got no issue with the guy I get along with him pretty well but still it's my damn time off don't pester me yeah, if you know what I'm saying if it's, uh, it's good if it's good for your health don't do it <laughs> but anyways I uh, shouldn't be too far away of getting this food, to be honest. Shouldn't be too far away now, I don't think. Let me just have a quick Ganderoonie. So, it looks like they have the order. And there's a couple of stops on the way, so it should get here in the next 10, 15, 20 minutes. So I'll keep my eyes and ears open like a damn hawk, because I am damn well starving. Oh, right here, we've got food, oh yes, we've got food, now, we've got a little something different than usual, with a long sit, I can tell you right now, the smell is so damn strong, so, we've got the burger, and we've got the side, some chips. Let's have a look at these chips. They don't look too bad at all guys. Garlic and feta cheese. Mm-mm. I'll try. Mm. Mm. That is nice. That is very nice. Now look of the big boy itself. So there it is guys, the big boy. So I'll try and get so it's got itself some beef patties, the eggs, lettuce and everything else in between. Tomato. Looks like there's some pineapple in there as well. Mm. It's even got some nice sauce in there by the looks of it. So what we'll do is I'll give you guys a quick little taste test I'll uh, try on this end because everything seems to be falling out yeah rear end mmm doing not beetroot alright here goes the big bite That's just an explosion of flavour. Holy crap. That's nice. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. 
and I'll give you guys a rating as soon as we're finished. But it's rude to talk with one mouth full. Mm. Just finish that food up, to be absolutely honest. I'd give it all a 9 out of 10, simply because it was a little bit soggy on the base of the burger and some of the chips weren't as crispy as I'd like them to be, but the flavouring of all the food is beautiful. Loved it. There was definitely an explosion of uh, flavours in the whole burger, beetroot, um, pineapple, onions and whatever else they had in the burger. The only downfall about the burger, I'd have to say, was it was a little bit soggy. Uh, it did get a little bit too soggy by the time I got here, but uh, that's what happens when a uh, place is too damn popular. The chips uh, had a nice coating of the salt, the garlic, the um, feta cheese, and it looked like ha it had some other green, like green onion or something on it as well. And don't get me wrong, it was a definite kick in the mouth with flavour. So I'll have to give that one a 9 out of 10 as well. So both burger and chips, 9 out of 10. Definitely recommend it if you're in around town or if you find burger booze anywhere around town. Definitely go and have a go. I had the big boy, but uh, you don't have to go for that one in particular. But uh, yeah, burger booze is the way to go. Now that we've had our food... I'm just sitting here thinking what next because uh, usually we don't get up to much I was planning on going and go and do something but uh, with today's weather the way it was it's not uh, not good to go out fishing or camping not only that it's uh, school holidays at the moment so every place would be chock-a-block with people which as you guys know I don't really like to uh, be in large crowds or anything else like that much prefer to be as you would say, somewhere alone. Oh, ain't that fucking annoying. We're gonna come in and sit out the back here and enjoy a little bit of peace and quiet, but this dickhead's bloody got his music going doof doof. That's friggin' great. Hmm. Pain in the ass. Ooh -wee. I don't know about you guys, but what the flippin' hell is that? Ooh, that oh. as, soon as, I, as soon as this rain came, it's like someone decided to open up a surge or something. What the flip and flip. That's fucking disgusting. Oh, yeah, I'm going to go inside and close the damn windows. That is not pleasant whatsoever. Oh. Yep. I'll leave that like that for a bit, I think. Till this bloody smell goes away. What the fuck. Honestly, don't know where that came from. That, that was disgusting. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Sometimes I can have some foul smells, but uh, that's just hard. That was way too much even for me. So, it's alright. I don't think we'll be going outside anytime soon. Simply for the fact we haven't really got anything to do outside at the moment. So, mm, all we can really do is watch some YouTube. Oh, on a little side note though guys, I hear that the, tonight is the night that a uh, particular meteorite is uh, in close proximity to Australia, oh, not Australia, the world. And it's about uh, the distance of the moon at the moment, so I am just having a bit of a squeeze out the back to see if we can see it in the night sky, but I can tell you right now, I don't know what I'm looking for something that looks a little different than what we are used to seeing but uh, all I can do is just have a bit of a squeeze and see if I can find anything that's a little different than uh, than usual it may end up coming out tomorrow night we'll, uh, we'll see how things go tonight see if I can find anything that's out of the ordinary well, to be honest with you guys I can't really see anything that's out of place like I said I don't really know what we're looking for but uh, that right there isn't really something to worry about, I don't think. But uh, for now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and set my camera up uh, for a night lapse, like I usually do, and see if that catches anything out the window. It's a bit of a bummer because uh, 
who knows if it's the 29th for Australia or the 29th for America but uh, it might not be in the sky where we can see it until possibly early morning but uh, yeah, I've got to go to work but it's going to be around for at least 60 days 56 days is what I am aware of it being around so we may end up seeing it at some point so we'll have to be very vigilant for that in the next couple of days to say the least Just got home for another day, guys. I tell you, what, I don't know what it was about today, but it was tiresome as always. So I've uh, been trying to find this uh, articles about this bloody meteor that's um, going to be hovering around the moon for the next uh, few days. But uh, it looks like it's, uh, from what I've read, it is hovering around the moon at the moment. So, I know that the moon came up this morning, so, yeah, we'll have to see if we can uh, see it later on tonight. If we can, sweet, if not, I'll have to wait until the uh, uh, moon comes a full circle, which well, will probably be too damn late, no my damn luck. Trying to see if I can see the moon now, but when it came up this morning, it was a mere slimmer slither of moon. So I dare say it's probably somewhere up behind those clouds. So I'll have to see if we can find it later on tonight, around 7ish. So it seems like the moon's already gone down behind the horizon. That's a bit of a bummer. Oh well, I'll still come out tonight and have a look either way. See if I can find uh, such things. And I'll see if I can find a uh, little app that can help show us where it is exactly. But uh, for now, I'm going to go inside, get out of this damn sun. Uh, I don't want to cause another, you, you know what. Had, just had a bit of an idea, guys. NASA will have an idea on what the frig is going on with this damn thing. So I'm going to have a quick squeeze on the NASA site, see if we can find any more info months here about the 2024, I think it's called the AF. 585 something like that but uh, I guess at this point best thing to do is have a bit of a squeeze at Zinasa NASA plus live ah, to an asteroid and back hmm uh, maybe that was something else it might take a while for us to figure out where this thing is, guys. Too many articles to try and, uh, yeah, go for anything. Asto, asteroid. Is that an asteroid? Anyway, I'll have a quick squeeze at the NASA site and see what I can find and uh, I'll get right back with you guys, without a doubt, on what we found and where we can look for it in the sky. That's uh, the biggest thing for me, is to have a bit of a squeeze with the binocular. Well, this is a bit disappointing guys. I just found a few articles about this little Meteor 2024. PT5 won't be visible to the naked eye unfortunately because it's such a teeny speck uh, especially at the distance that it's going to be at won't even be able to see it with binoculars uh, won't even be able to see it with your basic telescopes or anything like that so yeah it's a bit of a bummer guys I will apologize now because uh, now I was looking forward to uh, as you would say seeing this damn thing but uh, that won't be happening anytime soon <laughs> but hopefully they will have some photos of it up on the internet soon enough as it were but anyways guys I'm not gonna 
do too much more research about it because if there's not much point in trying to look for it with the naked eye then there's not much point in looking for it anywhere else. <sighs> oh well, it is what it is guys, and it's just a bit of a bummer, it's uh, not going to be seen by us. I uh, would have loved to have seen it either way, but uh, not much you can do about it at this given time. But in saying that guys, I'm going to leave it at that. There's not really much point in chasing after this darn thing if we can't see it, find it, whatever else in between. I'm kind of hoping to see that, that there will be a photo of it coming up soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. But we'll see how things go in between now and then but for now guys I'm gonna leave it at that I just want to thank each and every one of you as per the usual for being a part of this channel and video and everything else in between without you guys this channel wouldn't be where it is today so thank you very much for that but for now guys I'm gonna leave it at that I will see you guys in the next video until then guys just remember to get out there stay happy stay positive and everything else in between until then guys keep it easy